Apparently, I never give him water, ever. If he's drinking like this, <laughs> he's never had water in his life. Anyway, it's not waiting for him. So, <laughs> yesterday, I left Frankie with my roommate. And this is the footage they sent me. And after seeing that, and Frankie sleeping all day, I can only imagine how crazy today is gonna be. Okay, cool. Can you tell he's crazy? No, keep going. <laughs> oh my goodness. I'm so ready to move so we don't have these stairs. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, the crazy Aussie. <laughs> All right, let's go. That's the look. Oh no, oh no. Oh my goodness. Oh, I'm not ready for this. Hello, Franks. Are you crazy today? Yeah. <laughs> this is what happens. It's like if you don't get your Aussie enough exercise, then it just like piles up. Hey, mister? <laughs> oh, you're eating bone guts. Mm -hmm. I just know he's gonna be crazy. I ain't having these massive, massive bags. So I just got this from like the dollar store. And I just filled this up. Triple running low. And every time around this time of year, I always feel like the dog stores like might close, especially with lockdown. So I think I might go pick up a bag or two just to be safe. It's time, Franks, for the advent calendar for dogs. What day are we today? The 21. <laughs> oh. <coughs> Man, this smells so bad. 21, nothing. Costco, they suck. Where is it? <laughs> Nine. Give me a high five. You missed. There you go. Should we go? Should we go find Joey? Should we go? On the road again. Boom, boom, boom. Boom, boom. <laughs> Joey wouldn't be impressed with this walking. <laughs> no, he's actually really good at walking. I was just letting him go. Oh, bye bye. Where are you gonna go? Come on. Who's that? Okay. Hello. <laughs> we gotta go to the dog store. Yeah. We gotta get some dog food. Thank goodness is taking a walk on the town. Okay. okay, we're gonna have to reset you to do a proper walk. Who is this big man on campus? See how crazy he is? He's crazy out today. <laughs> I, like the whole city is out today. It's a beautiful day. It feels like Saturday, Patty and I would say. Yeah, it's a Sunday. No, it's and... Monday. What? Yeah. What? It's Monday. Okay, it's a Monday and the sun is out. It's like, it's got, it feels like it's like 10 degrees outside, which is amazing. Yeah. Uh, and we're just headed to the dog store to pick up some dog food. So, uh, very impromptu video, but we're taking you along. I feel like there's so many people out there who like are dog owners and they feel bad if they don't do the right thing like right away. And I, I think that goes with everything. Like sometimes we forget to even take care of ourselves and our dogs and we're just busy and like forgetting to put on their boots is like something that a, a lot of people forget to do. But you can always like, give their paws a wash when you get home. You're not a bad owner or anything. Not everybody does everything all the time, so. Nope. And he's still happy. <laughs>
Grazel behind me. I, I wanted to talk about leaving your dog alone during quarantine. I feel like a lot of people, you know, they are always home. Like I work from home normally. So I am self-employed and I work from home all the time. And then I have a roommate and they are now working from home as well. And so no one really leaves. So then Frankie doesn't really get his own alone time. He's very good at separating himself from us and going into his room uh, or my room, basically his. Come here, you gotta talk to people. You gotta stop being so antisocial. But I think it's really, really important to just leave your dog alone for even an hour. Um, as long as you're the, you know, if you're the, what is the word? Like sole caretaker, if you're the mm -hmm. owner, um, I think it's important to also leave your dog alone with other people so they can get used to that and see how they behave in that situation. Um, and I think it's just really good for them to have their own alone time just like us because they get attached and they get dominant and then they get all of, whoa, that was some big yawns. If you watched the previous video of calming my Aussie down, this is a, uh, these are the scratches. This is the spot. <laughs> but I think it's really important to leave your dog alone with other people and to just leave your dog alone every now and then, especially in quarantine, because then your dog's not gonna, they're gonna become really codependent and every dog is different and every owner is different. But I think it's just like a really, really good and, and, <laughs> and beneficial thing to be able to do. But thank you guys very much for watching this video. I just really wanted to say that. And because I've been with him every single day and especially making these videos, it's been a lot. <laughs> It's like he's talking, but this has been really nice. Thank you guys very much for all the support. And uh, we're going to be going to the dog park later. Fangos? We're going to be going to the dog park later today. Yeah. And um, <laughs> and we'll pick up Indy and stuff. And then that'll be the next video. Okay, 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 okay. Let me live. No, 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 let me live. Let me live. I didn't do it, I promise. Get out of here. Ugh.